Hi everyone, this is TJ Snyman again, and we're going to continue um, drawing the bezel. Uh, here we have the main body of the bezel, and what we're going to do is we're going to scale this one in the Z axis just a little bit higher to give it a little more strength. And let's move that up to zero. Uh, let's get back to perspective. Um, that looks a little better. It gives us a little more strength around the main body of the stone. Okay, um, now what we did in the last tutorial was these curves. Shift that curve and this curve and that curve. Okay, we are gonna let's escape there. This one. Curve and this one. Not that one this curve and that curve. Let us edit, copy, edit, paste. We cop double copy them and then we move them up uh, somewhere above the stone girdle, somewhere up there. Just to give us a nice height so we can see that stone right into that. That's a little high so I'll just go down just a tad. So we can bezel it nice and strong around. I'm going to go up a little more because of the V prong. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do, we first of all, uh, this one we are going to move out a little bit. Let's go to the top view for that one. Let's pan back here because we want this one just just a little bit out of <coughs> just barely touching the stone. Let's start again. Uh, this one and we move that one up just outside <coughs> outside the stone right there oh I copied that one so oh that's a top one okay that's good um, and then let's go back to our perspective that looks good um, this one we will move back a little bit and then let's go back to top now what we'll also do, we will scale this one a little bit in the, in this case, the y-axis or the x-axis to kind of level the curve or parallel the curve to the bottom one. And that is pretty much all we have to do right now. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll go back to perspective view. We are going to control and H that will hide the stone. Okay, now we will also, let's pick this one, Control H, hide that. Now what I'll do is I'll use a, we'll draw one polyline from the end of this curve to the snap end of this curve. We will also do the same from the end of this curve towards the end of, okay, so I couldn't get the loft command to work very well on this on these curves, so I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to sweep all of them. So I'll start again with the solid or the surface. Sweep two rails. This rail. Oh, I am going to have to explode those. So let me do that. That one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Edit. Explode to separate all the curves. So we go back. Surface. Sweep two rails this rail and that rail with this curve okay and we do the same this rail that rail with this curve okay and I'm gonna go around and do this curve and that curve and we will sweep both of them so this curve and that curve with that one okay okay I've uh, sweeped all these rails and this is what we ended up with and what I'm going to do now is just cap my my holes, and we do that with uh, surface. Oh, sorry, solid cap planar holes, and we do that one. Enter when done, and we just, as you can see, it became a solid. We'll do the same with this one. Unable to cap at least one object. Okay, so we have to work a little bit on that one. So where were, where, where are we now? Let's see. Um, let's switch on, actually let's unhide everything. 
so we go to edit visibility show okay so you will see that's how stone everything's looking really good these diamonds on top we will just gonna have to hide again because we're not gonna use those for now control and H so this is what we have um, all we have to do now is cap the holes on the end prong and then what we're gonna have to do is take this whole head lift it and set it up here so let me cap this hole first okay so I swept all the rails uh, capped all the holes and this is what we have now what I'm gonna do is to take this end V prong and the other one this one and this one and just move it to the layer that's called head because that's going to be the ring head okay and then what we can do is just do a quick uh, rendering and see what is this going to look like hope it's in gold now white gold will give us a good idea okay we'll do that later so what we're going to do now take this whole assembly and smack put it right smack in the middle of that table over there so let's take that we take our manipulator we pull this out to this side to this side and up so let's go back let's go to the front uh, not the front the there we go fan fan okay so let me move keep moving the uh, manipulator that we're just gonna eyeball it for now and that's what's nice about um, a nice about milling a piece because you don't have to be exactly on you always can be have a little okay let's rotate here we can always have a little bit of leeway um, let's go to my perspective because I'm kind of lost now so where are we okay we need to move this guy first of all in it's almost touching that platform so our head is quite quite bigger than I thought so what I am gonna do I'm gonna take this piece and scale it out a little wider and take our head assembly and you know what I think I'm gonna rotate this almost like so because I need those two curves to flow around I'm gonna do even more than that so let's select the head again oh. and uh, do a little more of a rotation somewhere around there Now this is important that this should line up because we need two very nice curves. I'm going to um, see what's the best place to do this. Just give me one second. Okay, I've done some shuffling and shifting and scaling and I came up with this one. Um, I like the layout and the uh, configuration of this model. <coughs> uh, one thing I realized is that our, our head is not as high as I thought I was hoping for so let's bring up our picture up really quick again um, if you remember this curve that's going to take the small diamonds it's going to go around this way and the second one will step down just a touch so that one will go down this way and that one has to be lower so it's going to cut right into the center of this platform so we will uh, do a boolean difference and cut some of this corner away somehow and texture that but nonetheless um, I am happy so far let's just do a quick rendering here and see what this is gonna look like um, very cool I like that um, this side give us a good idea more or less where we stand that's nice and let's do one on this side yeah I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the curves going around uh, this main pear shape head uh, these two, one there and one there. 
we're at the top min uh, the top view right now and see we already at 10 minutes into this tutorial this is probably gonna run over into one more so we are probably in, ending up doing four tutorials on this ring more than I wanted to but nonetheless so for ad without further ado let's keep going um, I'm gonna start with um, curves we are gonna do the two curves running down the side of this ring um, for this one I'm just gonna do the two two very lazy curves um, select the curve F10 control points and let me get my um, selector and um, I'm gonna pull these curves like really um, you know what actually what I'm gonna do let's take this one control H and hide that there we go now I'm gonna I'm pull this curves a little I want these curves to be just adjacent to my to actually should touch my pear shaped head um, somewhere right there and I just want three control points because it gives me a nice smooth curve one there and one there now I'm gonna go and get my little diamonds and uh, I'm gonna plop them on this construction plane to see where we're at right now I've pulled up two diamonds here to give us an indication as to what size um, oh, that's the wrong way to undo uh, to give us an indication as to what size we're looking at when we do our little channel so we're gonna start off with this first one and just move this um, that's gonna be the first one it's gonna be let's look at our picture again it's gonna be sitting just off to the side here towards the back pretty much right there um, and the littlest one the smallest one this is a three millimeter diamond and this one is a 1.7 millimeter so this one is probably gonna be sitting somewhere around there let's look at the picture again what we did it's gonna be roughly around to the edge of the band somewhere around there so we're gonna curve this see how many we can fit in there we probably We'll be using about five or seven or so. We're gonna use array curve plus command for that one. It's a really cool command. But before but before we do that, I just want to draw a quick polyline roughly here at the surface edge. One there and just another one. Just to give me an indication more or less uh, where this ring is sitting, the main shank. And then we pick that and we say all the control and H and hide that one. So we have the two lines con representing our shank so okay so this means this is gonna be pretty wide and I am probably gonna have instead of doing this parallel I will taper the band from wide to narrow um, starting with wide and I will taper it to a narrow about a two millimeter band a two millimeter channel platform actually the way this will be sitting on um, so let me go ahead and I will take this curve and get those control points take that one where are we now take that curve edit copy edit paste and I will be moving this curve on this on the same plane somewhere around there rotate it uh, roughly around there move it again so rotate it again a little bit more almost there and just move it one more time so that will give us our um, we need little space for the beads to set it in that is going to probably going to be the taper um, of our first diamond will sit there the, this uh, biggest one will start over there so this will be the taper of our of our cha of our platform and so on the next tutorial we will go on and we will do array curve plus uh, where I will show you where how we will fit these how many diamonds we can fit in these I will also be making these two platforms uh, let me get our sketch up here I will be making these two platforms where we're gonna um, set our tapered or our um, row of diamonds that graduate from big to small and then the lower platform where we will we will be doing the Pave setting and that'll be over here.